Hello everyone, I just wanted to talk to you about how this all ended. You've seen the whole story, but um, I played through the game a second time to get the achievements, and I want to tell you what I have missed and what I've learned through the uh, second playthrough. It was a pretty short let's play, about oh, two hours, a bit less than that. But um, when I played through the second time, which I, I did get the uh, speed achievement, it was ooh, approximately 52 minutes, 54 seconds and a half-ish. Anywho, I have missed a single collectible that was in the first level through some bars. So you actually had to teleport through the bars to get that. That was actually my last achievement. The no death achievement is actually a lot easier than first thought. If you do die, you can just back out, turn off your Xbox, uh, return to dashboard, and it will not penalize you. The experience one, the experience uh, achievement, was pretty easy because um, you pretty much get that naturally. Uh, I got it at the uh, docking level, and um, if you play through it, you probably do it uh, similarly. Enemies. Enemies blocks. The little um, red lines around them. Instead of looking at those, well you should look at those, but instead of focusing on those and trying to hit the buttons accordingly, you should look at your character and where he is in one of the cardinal points. If you find somebody and you see their uh, block radius, the way they turn, I've I said this in the let's play, but the way they turn will turn their uh, block zone, called block zone, sure. They will stay the same throughout the whole fight. The only person who changes it is Samuel Jackson, and he changes it, I'm not sure how many times, but he does change it at certain points in the battle, or point. I'm not quite sure if it's once or twice, but I'm quite sure he changes his block radius during that long teleporting battle. The information about knowing where the block zone is is very helpful if you want to do a certain power move, like against the last boss. I chose to use the thorough one, so I had to run to the uh, left of him, so he would be facing me towards the left of the camera. It's relative to the camera. I also got the jump zone achievement, and uh, I should have got it the first playthrough with the uh, last jump zone kill. It just showed up in the... Uh, I got it in the second level. Um, if you're playing through a new game plus, make sure you hit continue and not new game, or else all of your data will be reset, so make sure you hit continue if you want to do a new game plus. Um, my feelings about it, it's, it's undoubtedly not a good game. It's short enough to not linger on too much. This game's also really good for uh, achievements, as you've probably seen if you've seen the Let's Play. If you haven't, um, I can tell you right now, getting a thousand achievement points on this is very easy and is also very uh, time efficient for achievement hunters. That is all I have to say, and I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. We're probably going to be doing another uh, blind, terrible um, game of some sort. Uh, any suggestions, uh, anything you've liked, disliked, I would love to hear it from you guys. and. Um, See you next time.